She's jazz. Yeah, yeah. She's smart. It's the Jazzy Report on the D.L. Hughley Show. Scientists in the U.K. are arguing that fertility clinics should be allowed to take sperm from dead men as well as accepting donations from living people. They say if it's morally acceptable that individuals can donate their tissues to relieve the suffering in others in life-enhancing transplants, there's no reason this can't be extended to other forms of suffering like infertility uh, in order to plug a short supply of donated okay, sperm. Okay, here's what I'll say. If that dude doesn't have a family... You know what I mean? Who can contest like his will? Because what happened is, what's going to eventually happen is, you get sperm from a dude. Uh, well, I'm assuming that you st- that's still the old fashioned way, right? They, they haven't changed that, right? They're still I, all sorry. Like, I, I, yeah, I hope that even if you're work, non-binary, but you get you it. Still... It doesn't work all the time, but you can get it. But <laughs> what if somebody believe that is his lineage? tries to lay claim to any to the baby to his, yeah, yeah. To his right. financial right. Yeah. You know, I don't know I would imagine they're looking into laws but I, I think the way they are setting it up there is that very much in the way that you are able to consent donating your eyes your ears right. and things like that you can also consent to donating your sperm but I now, think you got that, about two hours uh, to do it like after you die you got two hours and that's you, it if you if I'm you did and you still get two hours, no, 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 I take no. that. I'm, I'm telling you, they can That's still. That's how re- I want to go. They can still retrieve no, sperm don't. from you up to two hours right. after you are dead. Hang on, what do you do? I'm, I'm just the dead guy. Hang on a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what they do it electrically. They have like this electrical thing that stimulates and ding. Right, right. And then you just hey, take yeah, it out. Where you get those at? <laughs> <laughs> So a new study is warning people with heart disease that are using or have used marijuana in the past. They could be at risk of dangerously heavy bleeding and other complications. Researchers say cannabis could spell disaster if combined with drugs like statins commonly prescribed to help manage those conditions. They also note smoking weed has many of the same cardiovascular effects as smoking cigarettes. But, you know, I could tell you this, that. I think some of the greatest things that have ever been invented, somebody was high doing it. Oh, the telephone. I, I would not doubt that. The, the telephone, yeah. mm-hmm. the computer, some of the greatest music. The electro sure. G, you yeah. know, the one that gets <laughs> <laughs> For sure. The electro G, they get, you know, how can we, from dead guy. <laughs> how can we get them coming and going at the same time? <laughs> and if you order in the next five hours, you will receive a second one for free. Oh, wait, oh, wait, make it two hours. <laughs> You can't talk about it in a room full of men. Boobies and spoons. The new, anyway, the so new electric. An 84 year old. <laughs> An 84-year-old <laughs> granny in China is now officially a porn star. Two years after her husband died, she met a customer at her job that offered her an opportunity to be an adult film actress. So while visiting the set, a film producer overheard her commenting about the horrible job that a, ha- a woman was doing with a handsome young man, and so he offered her the job. Her first film was with a man who was young enough to be her grandson. Yeah. Yeah. What they call it? I could do it better than Look. her. <laughs> <laughs> it was his name. His point on name was some young guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brought to you by Electra. G- <laughs> <laughs> See, two guys in the room is manageable. When you have more than that, you just have to sit back. That's There's nothing that, you can do. That'd be a hell of a perm right there. A yeah. porn right there. Two yes. guys is manageable, but this <laughs> is <laughs> Let's fire up that Electra. G- no education in this room at all. All right. Uh, enough of you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask a serious question. You think? Sure. If, 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 for instance, this is this serious question. So you you marry a guy, right? Um, and he owes child support. Do you think that you should be responsible for helping him pay child support? Eight seven seven two four two two four two six. I'll send this up on Twitter at DL Hughley Radio or on Facebook, the DL Hughley Show, and of course our website is the DL Hughley Show dot com. Yes, indeed. We're waiting for your calls. It is the DL Hughley Show. It's more fun for you during the weekday. Are you crazy? You're funny. You crazy. You really are crazy. Keep it on the DL Hughley Show. Damn straight.